All right. Ooh, you clean up real nice. You look lovely. I, I bought a suit. Did you not have a suit before this? No, I didn't. I thought it was high time. I'm 54. Maybe I should have a suit. Well, I, I wish I were kidding. I wish I were kidding. I, d I don't have many, and it got to the point where I'd, be, I'd make appearances on things like this sure. or, or, or perhaps getting photographed doing promotion for the show. Sure. And I, I literally have two shirts that I like to wear for those things, and I would do three or four of them. Uh -huh. I thought it was only a matter of time before someone said, what the hell's wrong with Marin? Does he have another shirt? So I bought a suit, and those people can shut up, even though... <laughs> Even though I just made them all up. Well, those, those are the ones you really have to shut up. The I ones know. up here. You know, okay. <laughs> you know, okay. <laughs> there aren't many of them, but Lord, they're loud. Oh, yeah. I, I actually have many, but okay. Sure, sure. Uh, how's the garage? I know you do your, your podcast in the garage. Is there another place to do a podcast? I'm unclear on that. People, people do them in studios. Oh, or they do them in yeah. oh no, like no, that. no. I, uh, I got a new house. I got a new garage. Uh, it's a bigger garage than the old garage. There's a bathroom in this garage for people of importance, celebrity types, to use the bathroom. They don't have to go to my house and make a mess of my personal bathroom. They can... <laughs> Celebrities are filthy. They're just filthy. Yeah, So because the people are always cleaning up for them. Yeah, exactly. They have no manners. No, it was really uh, a nice change. You know, it's just a bigger and nicer garage, and, and, I'm, and I'm happy there. It's a, it's a step up. But it never dawned on me to to do the podcast elsewhere. Well, it's a short commute. It's a short commute, which My is My walk nice. to work is very easy. Yeah, I, uh, I get up, I go, I'm going to go to work. And then I step outside, I go in, and then if I want, I can use the bathroom in the garage as well, which is very exciting. So it's, it's nice not, to it's mix not it a up detached a garage. It's a detached garage. Detached garage stands alone, which means detached. Um, you don't keep, do you keep anything in the garage? Like, is, are there rakes or, like... Gardening equipment or a car or anything like that in there? All that's in there, Stephen. Um, <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> a car no, makes a nice sound booth. Uh, yeah, well, that'd be interesting to do the, the podcast in the garage and then people walk in and there's a car there. Right. And they're like, where are we doing this? And I say, in the car. Right. And if another and if great idea, Stephen, I'm writing it down. <laughs> if the All podcast right. isn't going well, you just start the car. Start the car <laughs> and. And rush out. That's right. And lock the door. So wait a second. What we happened? Lost to... Josh Brolin. What happened? We can't. We got to get the second half of Infinity War. Oh, I'm now, sorry. I'll call him. What is? Uh, what happened to the old house? In the old garage. Well, you do. I did what you do with the house. You, you sell the house. But that's a historic uh, location. Yeah, you know, now. it is. And President I... Obama was in that garage. He was in that garage. He came by. It was a big day. Uh, we, my realtor said we should use that. Did you? Sure, yeah, we put the picture up. We, we showed the house. There's a picture of Obama in the garage. And, uh... Put a plaque up what, or anything think I'm like stupid? that? Wouldn't you do it? I mean, sure. what you... So, sure. it was a tiny house, man. It was like a thousand... Less than a thousand square feet. One bathroom, which was the problem. Um... <laughs> And a detached garage, which is very old. Yeah. And I thought, yeah, okay, yeah, let's promote it by saying the president was there. The guy who bought the garage could care less that the president was there. Wow. Not that he was a negative person. He just didn't know who I was, and he didn't really care. And he just saw it as a, it made him have to pay more than he would have uh, if the president had not been there. Uh, some, people, uh, some people don't care about podcasts. I listen to them constantly. Yeah. I, I, I write up morning, I listen to one, I might listen to one on the drive in, like Good for when you. I'm having lunch, sure. cooking dinner, I go to sleep listening to podcasts. Yeah, nice. What did we there what did we do before there were podcasts? What do you, I don't know what we did. Like there was a time, man, before like before Wi Fi, before the cell phone, where all of us we, we had to do things like wait. <laughs> oh, and and then if you were actually waiting, that's all you could do. Just stand there. That's all you could do. I remember. And like, and now, like, I don't know, like, now it's, I don't know how we turned our entire brain over to the machines, to the phones, to the computers. I mean, we just send me, we're just gleefully enabling the singularity. Like, bring it on. But it's, it's a dense joke. It's really only for a couple of people. <laughs> but, that curves wild, yeah. get it? Yeah. But, uh, but the thing is, is, like, think about it. If you lose your phone, you're, what, two hours away from wandering the streets going, what's my name? <laughs> Where do I live? What, what are my children doing? Where do they live? So, do you need help, sir? No, I need my phone. I'm not sick. So, like, there, there was a time where, like, maybe there, there's just no, like, you'd be driving to work, listening to just radio. That was all that was available. Sure. Maybe you're, like, eating a, some trail mix. <laughs> maybe you're chewing on a peanut. 
And, and your brain just all of a sudden goes, oh, who's that guy that discovered peanut oil? Who's that peanut butter, peanut, peanut oil guy? We learned about him in elementary school. Three names. Damn it, what was his name? And that was sort of your day. You know, like... <laughs> you, you'd go to work and stuff, but a couple, every couple hours you'd be like, oh, peanut guy, why can't I remember his name? And there was nothing you could do. Right. You know, you, you maybe ask a friend at work, dude, peanut guy, what, you, peanut, you invented peanut oil, three names, do you know who he is? And the guy'd be like, I don't remember. Why are you so worked up about it? Because I can't remember. Then maybe you go to lunch from work, you eat a sandwich, that's all you could do, eat the sandwich, watch other people eat a sandwich, <laughs> maybe reflect on the sad tedium of self-awareness. <laughs> you go back to work, yeah. And sit down at your desk. Ah, peanut guy! <laughs> then maybe you call a friend. Dude, it's me. Uh, yeah, that's the other thing. Like, you had to wait to check your messages at the end of the day. Well, so you call a guy. Remember machines? You call a friend. Hey, dude, it's me. Listen, peanut guy. What's his name? Peanut guy invented peanuts. No, not peanuts. Peanut oil, peanut butter. Three names. I can't remember. Are you there? Pick up. All right, if you're not, call me later. I just, I'm okay, but all right, call me back. And they hang up. <laughs> Then maybe you, then you finish work, you drive home, you go to a video store, right? Remember video stores? Sure. It was a better world then, Stephen, yeah. because there was still shame in porn. So because if... The curtain. The curtain. Well, if you wanted to watch porn, you had to rent it from someone you knew, so you had to make a decision. That, 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 oh, it's that girl. I'm not going to go into the back and rent filth from her. So you check yourself, right? Not like today. You're just at home alone, tumbling down an endless rabbit hole of wrong-minded filth. You know what I mean? No moral compass, no tether. So anyways, <laughs> so you get home from work, you're like, all right, and you look at your machine, hey, it's beeping, there's a light. There's one light, it's beeping. I got a message. Oh my God, this is so exciting. You hit the play button, it's like, George Washington Carver, man. Are you okay? It's George Washington Carver. <laughs> man, you sounded really weird, and I just, like, I didn't have anything to do, so I went to the library. <laughs> You know, so I'm still here. Pick up if you need me to look up anything else. And then that's how you did a search back then. That's how you... Well, the new show... <laughs> the new season of GLOW returns to Netflix June 29th. Mark Maron, everybody. We'll be right back with a performance.